and welcome! It's finally time after many months of hard work to tour my van. Let's get into it! What are you doing good, sir? <laughs> Wiping. It's so dirty, I haven't had time to wash the car! For some context, I have been working every single hour the last week to finish this build because I'm leaving the country tomorrow. So yeah, this van tour is a bit stressed, but uh, that's life sometimes, you know? All right, welcome to my humble abode. I don't even know where to start. I'm super excited. It's done over here, obviously. We got the sleeping area. We got a 140 centimeter wide bed. Bed extensions on both sides, giving it a full length of 190 centimeters, I think, which is pretty good because I'm 186. You can really enjoy yourself here. <laughs> Maybe not say that. It's got a very nice Emma mattress. Super nice, comfy, yeah. Really nice. Above the bed, we got a big skylight so that you can uh, lie and look at the stars. We got the domestic midi hecky style with built in blackout curtain as well as bug net. It's really nice. On both sides of the van, we got some upper cabinets custom built with some IKEA units that keep them up as well as some magnets holding them down. We got plenty of storage on both sides. Sorry, I'm just gonna, <laughs> gonna take this out. Here we go. Over here, we got our desk setup, which is kind of the main component of my van. Something I decided very early on is that I want to have a proper workstation for working remote. So yeah, we got the big ass monitor here mounted on the wall. Also serving as my TV when lying in bed. So it's a proper wide desk. So I got plenty of space to work on and also sit and eat. Down below, we have my custom built PC box, housing my PC, allowing me to do gaming, 3D work, editing everything from the van. So it sits nicely there and then the laptop I have will go on top and lie there perfectly. Down below where I stand we got some nice black oak laminate flooring. Super nice, I really like how that turned out. Alright, let's move over here. We got a full size wardrobe in here, we got plenty of space as well as a refrigerator, the Dometic CRX 65, 65 liters with a freezer pocket as well. Down below we got a mobile gas stove that you can take out and place basically anywhere you like. You can also do it outdoor which is something that I really value. So I kept it like that for mobility. This one is a Primus Keninja stove. Down below here we got three boxes with plenty of storage. All right, and then we got the kitchen unit. We got a black sink, very sleek, also a black tap that also functions as an outdoor shower. Like that, we got running water and everything. So this whole unit is custom built. So down here, we got plenty of storage for kitchen stuff and toiletry. On this side, we have our gray water tank, trash area. We also have another small box here for like cutlery and stuff like that. So yeah, this whole unit was custom built because I wanted the right uh, measurements and everything. And yeah, I'm a control freak, what can I say? Ash countertop on both sides here, which matches really nice with the walls, with the green, everything like that. Over here, we got a foldable kitchen uh, top extension. Perfect for putting the cooker here under the fan, by the door. I'm really happy with how this turned out. From the beginning there was this curved metal separator wall but I decided to throw that out and build my own insulated separator wall. We got two layers of plywood here with insulation in between and uh, yeah this is a bit of a art piece in my opinion. We got a nice privacy screen here with a magnet holding it up. And I, I know that a lot of people have asked me whether I will be able to climb through this or not. And uh, I guarantee it's possible. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, I think I will have to at some point. So basically, just to be able to go between the living area and the driving area in case of emergency or I need to drive off without leaving the van. I, I wanted to have at least a window to go in and out through. Up here, we have even more storage 
a big, 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 big storage space called the attic. A attic. Attic. The yeah. Addict. <laughs> the addiction center. The addiction center. Oh, oh, sorry, cut. Over on the side door, we of course got our sleek side window. It's a car best RV style that is openable as well. I'm really happy with that. We also got ourselves a little blackout curtain here, of course, to uh, keep uh, the privacy in here during the nights because I noticed that when trying out camping a little bit that it's quite freaky. On the days, of course, you can't see in, but uh, during the nights when it's dark outside and light inside, you can kind of see in. <laughs> All right, so to keep the air nice in here, we got the max air fan perfectly placed above the cooking area. This flange here painted black to match well with the interior. It's custom uh, rib roof with LED lights going on both sides. We also got LED lights over here, over here. These LED lights are warm white and these ones are RGB, which I can control with my phone. Very nice. I think that's it for the front area here. So let's go around and look at what's under the bed. All right. So here we got plenty of storage space and we got two custom wheelhouse boxes housing a few different components. In here on this side, we got the fresh water tank with the water inlet going straight down into it here. Over on this side, we got a removable lid because in here we got the 12 volt sea flow water pump. Over here on the end, we got another removable lid. We got some extra storage in here where I will be keeping my short power cable. Over on this side, we got our electrical system out here externally. We have the multi plus 800 watts from Victron Energy. This is switch for the solar panels, the smart solar controller for the solar panels, alarm. In here, we got all of the juice. We got two lithium batteries. Both are 100 amps each, giving me plenty of power. We got three solar panels on the roof, giving us a total of 600 watts, which should be plenty in the more sunny areas of the world to uh, keep the engine running. <laughs> no, not the engine. <laughs> engine. <laughs> Over on this side, we got the shore power inlet, which allows me to connect to shore power. If I ever need more juice, then the solar panels can uh, create. So as mentioned, I have an alarm, which hopefully will keep me safe with magnet sensors on all doors. I also got some extra locks. So hopefully I will be safe and sound in my little cabin car. <laughs> <laughs> so if we go over to the side, we got magnet on this door, an extra lock here as well. Same on the front. We got extra DIY locks on all doors as well as magnet sensors. So hopefully that will keep me and my stuff safe. What the fuck? Is that good? Holy shit, my van got broken into. No, we can move. So it's absolute chaos. I thought my bad luck was over. So yeah. This is my van. I can't believe it's done. It's been done for what? One day and now I'm showcasing it. Hopefully I haven't missed anything. I'm super happy with how it turned out. We've been working crazy, me and my dad, for the last months. And yeah, I'm so excited to get on the road. Make sure to subscribe. We have so much fun adventures coming ahead. I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get this show on the road. Woohoo!